Hi friends, I'm the reading teacher. Today I'm going to read you a story that was a winner of a great award called the Monarch Award in 2017. The Monarch Award is actually a Reader's Choice Award for kindergarten through third graders. And the kids in your school get to vote on which book is their favorite. And the winner is actually the book who gets the most votes around the country. And so the book that won in 2017 is called Gaston. And you can see from the picture, it's a little chihuahua sitting on a chair. And I'm thinking that his name must be Gaston. This was written by Kelly DiPuccio and pictures by Christian Robinson. Gaston. Oh, I love the end papers. They're so pretty. Such beautiful spring flowers. Here's the title page. Gaston. Mrs. Poodle admired her new puppies. Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston. Wait, did you, did you notice something different about Gaston? Look at Fifi, Fufu, and Ooh La La, and then look at Gaston. And then look at the mother. These three puppies look like the mother, but Gaston does not look like the mother, does he? Would you like to see them again? Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston. Perfectly precious, aren't they? Mrs. Poodle thought so too. The puppies grew, as puppies do. Three were no bigger than teacups. And the fourth, however, continued to grow and grow until he was the size of a teapot. Mrs. Poodle took pride in teaching her puppies how to be proper pooches. They were taught to sip, never slobber. Good, well done, very nice. Nice try. They were thought, taught to yip, never yap. Yip, 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 roof. Hmm, are you noticing that Gaston is doing something different than the other dogs on every page? And they were taught to walk with grace, never race. Tiptoe, tippy toe, whoa. The puppies were also taught how to look pretty in pink, nibble their kibble, and ride in style. Whatever the lesson, Gaston always worked the hardest, practiced the longest, and smiled the biggest. Well, he's sure done a lot of things differently than the other dogs, but is he happy? He's a happy dog, isn't he? Mrs. Poodle was very pleased with all her puppies. Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston. Spring arrived, and the proud mother was eager to show off her darlings. She took them to the park for their very first stroll in public. There was much to see. Daffodils, ducklings, dogs. Oh dear, Ooh, who do we have here? Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Would you like to see them again? Rocky. Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Huh, are you noticing something different about Antoinette? This was more than a little awkward. The mothers sized up the pups. The pups sized up one another. It seems there's been a terrible mistake, Mrs. Bulldog said, breaking the silence. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Mrs. Poodle agreed sadly. Whatever shall we do? Now how many of you are thinking what the moms are thinking? What was the mistake? What do you think the mistake could be? Look at them all lined up here. Mrs. Bulldog could not come up with an answer. I guess we'll let them decide, she replied at last. Gaston and Antoinette were young, but even they could see that there had been a mix-up. The two puppies began to circle around and around the group. Gaston walked with grace. Antoinette raced. Gaston yipped. Antoinette yapped. 
And when they finally came to a stop, the puppies had traded places. There, that looked right. Now Gaston came to this family, and Antoinette came to this family, but look at Gaston's face, and look at Antoinette's face. I don't think they feel really good about this decision. Let's read this page again. There, that looked right. It just didn't feel right. Do you notice how the author made these two words a little bit slanted? That's called italics. And he wants you to, or she wants you, to read it in a little different way. There, that looked right. It just didn't feel right. That evening, Antoinette tried to fit in with her new sisters, but she did not like anything proper or precious or pink food. On the other side of town, Gaston tried to fit in with his new brothers, but he did not like anything brutish or brawny or brown. Ick. Antoinette and Gaston weren't the only ones who were having a hard time adjusting. Hmm, look at the moms. I think they miss their babies, don't they? The next morning, Mrs. Poodle forgot all about being proper and raced back to the park. Now, good readers, they don't just read, they think, don't they? So why do you think she's racing back to the park? What do you think she wants to see so badly that she's running? Hmm. Mrs. Bulldog was already there waiting with her burly brood. It seems we've made a terrible mistake, she nearly shouted. Wee oui, wee, oui, Mrs. Poodle agreed happily. This time, Gaston and Antoinette wasted no time trading places. There, that looked right, and it felt right too. From that day forward, the families met in the park every afternoon to play. Rocky, Rick, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette taught the poodle puppies a thing or two about being tough. Likewise, Fifi, Fufu, and Ula La and Gaston taught the bulldog puppies a thing or two about being tender. And many years later, when Gaston and Antoinette fell in love and had puppies of their own, they taught them to be whatever they wanted to be. And there's our end paper again. I love that story. And if you want to see more of the Monarch Award winners, just go to your library and ask your librarian to show you where they are. Remember, this was nominated by kids or voted on by kids. So this is a student choice award. All right, have a great day, readers.